To my dearest brother, I hope you are settling in nicely at the university. Have you figured out what you're going to study? I talked to mom and dad last week. They said that you still had not decided. Whatever you end up doing, I know you will make me proud. As far as my new dorm, I share it with about 30 other men and a few unknown specimens. The desert does tend to provide its variety of surprises. Last week, I was promoted to sergeant. My lead commander was KIA just a few days ago. He was killed by a kid, can you believe that? A kid, about 13, shot him in the back. Seems like the description of the enemy is eternally different in this war. Past wars had trenches, scopes, and bombs, which we still tend to use. This war is dust in the rain with black blood dripping from the crypts. So before you know it, I'll probably be promoted and sent back home to shift papers like you, college boy. Well, remember that you have made it, my friend. This is your last chance to roll the dice and put it all on the line. If you hit this thing full force, I guarantee you will not recognize the man you become. You have such potential, and I don't know if you realize it. You always were able to look at things clearly, and make an honest, educated decision. So enjoy school, and remember to give it the old college try, and don't slag off. Stay smart, stay focused, and most importantly, stay calm. Love, your brother, Tyler. P.S. Hope you find everything you're looking for. I'm so I'm so I'm so hot, so shaky. I keep losing chips. I swear I lost like six chips. Dude, I took all fucking chips from you. That's probably why. It's like my natural poker instinct. I see chips are like sweet. They're over here. I have a really good hand the whole time. I swear I'm throwing off with this. Like I swear. I'll take two. Yeah. That's it. I'm out. Dude, you mean you're out? We literally just started playing. Kyle just ran the numbers up. I mean, some people just are not meant to play poker, if you know what I mean. Bullshit. <laughs> Dude, I mean, I can read you ladies like a fucking stop sign. <laughs> Dude, I mean, I fold. I think I'm a little above your reading level. You see, so you're always just like going at it like children. It's like you're always talking yourselves up. It's like. I swear, why do we play poker anymore? Like, why do we even, why do we even play anymore? Why do we play? What do you mean by that? I mean, not like play poker, but it's like, we just pretend to play poker. We're always been like, right. talking shit to each other the whole time. Alright, look. The whole time, dude. The, dude, oh, yeah. look. If I wanted to sit around at fucking poker table, there's no money in the pot, I can do that at home. Oh, why do you sit okay. at you fools? I squeeze your head. You motherfuckers are always talking about squeezing heads. Go suck a dick. Dude, god damn it, cops! Like you always say the same thing. It's like this. It's like the same dick reference with a different mouth reference. It's like you guys wouldn't last two seconds in a serious life threatening situation. No, 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 two seconds. Uh, what? Like eating your chicken pesto, dude? The last time I ate your <laughs> chicken pesto, I had to drop the kids off and pull them nonstop for three days straight. It's not true, dude. That's not true. Do you ever take? Turd so big, back into a whole new wardrobe. It's <laughs> a good one. I mean, you ever poop so hard your back crack? <laughs> no, I mean, really life threatening. It's like, like I, read, I read this article about this like army combatant who was captured and tortured for three weeks before he got rescued. Be all you can be. <laughs> hey, okay. All right. Any up, boys. You couldn't handle that. You couldn't do that. I heard he was found. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure he died. Like after those three weeks. I'm pretty sure he didn't make it. But you should have taken the code of silence. <laughs> is, that really, is, is that what you would have done, man? You take the code of silence, Ben, right after. Right. Is that is that even real? No. Nah, hey, Kyle, what, what would you um, do? <laughs> Hey.
day. day. It's the same thing, same nightmares in the same old daydream. Yeah. Thinking how I'ma get out of this rut. Proud don't die, I got too much money to touch. Too many things on the menu. Things that I'm finna do, like where I'm going, rock the next show, which venue. How I'm gonna pay right now and the next time. How I'm gonna find any time to write the next rhyme. I'm on the grind. Rap star gotta get a job. Man, I'm supposed to be holding a fort. On Monday, man, I'm going to court. And that's how I've been done. Let me go right now. I'm on my way. I won't be beat. I won't be held down to see the defeat. I work so hard. Now, you listen to me, you piece of ass. What came first, the chicken or the egg? I think we need to step it up. What? Let him go? Are we even sure it's him? To my dearest brother, hope you are finally settling into school and are not getting into any more trouble. As far as your problems with the girls, sometimes patience and understanding can get you much further than lies and gifts. As for school, it seems that people fight and struggle to memorize information that people instruct them to learn. Education is the information that proves significant and relevant enough to pass from one generation to the next. But wisdom is the knowledge gained by accepting experience and embracing life 
one step at a time. But now is your chance to decide for yourself in which direction you want your life to lead, to succeed or to fail. I remember when I was little, it took me weeks to get on my bike. I was running and bouncing along with my training wheels for months before I was able to take them off and attempt to coast on. But you, the first day you got on your bike, you were running it around the backyard in circles, even trudging through the lawn. By the end of the first week, you had jumped, swerved, and swiped your training wheels into an unrecognizable state. I remember mom and dad laughing how the first one just fell off and the other one was looking to do the same. And then you stopped, inspected your bike, and asked one of the neighbors to remove the last training wheel because it was serving no purpose. Can you believe a seven-year-old kid telling someone how his bike wasn't performing to his expectations? You are your own enemy. Stay strong and you shall not falter. I realize now that I too myself fall into the category of the undeclared. I left high school and honestly was scared alone and undecided. All my friends had already received their letters of acceptance to their various colleges and were now preparing for their college experience. Seems like my campaign might be called short. I should be back in California for your return home for Christmas break. I love you, bro, and get laid tonight. By golly, give it up, brother, for the both of us. I love you and miss you, but I will see you when the time is right. Sincerely, your brother, Tyler. Do you guys hear about the war in Afghanistan? 